Okay, so today I'm going to be building a working electrical circuit. So we've been talking about circuits a good bit uh, and kind of the requirements for circuits to work. Um, so we're going to build a little working circuit and we're going to test it. <clears throat> Some things we need, if you look at the materials, right, so if you're following along with me, this is from the paper that I did. You need some 14-2 electrical wire, a light fixture, right? I got a light fixture. Uh, here's my wire. Uh, I need a receptacle box, which I have right here. Um, I have some wire nuts. Uh, I have some wire strippers, right? These are the wire strippers. Uh, I have a replacement plug. So this is uh, exactly what it sounds like, right? It's like the plug when you plug something into the wall, but this is a replacement one. Uh, we have a light switch, it's right here. Uh, I'm not going to put a switch cover on it, and I got some screwdrivers around here, and I have some linesman pliers, right? So these are the linesman pliers, the bigger ones. They got the wider end on the end here. So uh, if you remember from last time we watched the last video, um, I set up the switch. So I already have the switch set up inside of here. I just left it uh, hooked up. It should be in fantastic working order, hopefully. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be connecting the um, the light on one end and then we're going to connect the plug on the other end. So that's the plan. Um, let's see. I'm looking over procedures. Get the materials. Start stripping wires on one end. Use the plier loop spot to curl the wire into a question mark loop. Okay. So you might even be able to see here. I'm not sure if you can read this on here, but it says loop. That's another way to make um, a wire question mark, if you will. So I'm gonna do exactly what they said. I'm gonna start by stripping off some of these wires. So I <clears throat> already have the jacketing here. Uh, kind of peeled back a little bit. I'll probably peel it back a little bit more. It's not gonna hurt. So it's always, it's, it's much better in my opinion to always have a little bit more slag. It's just, you know, just makes it easier working with. And you know, if I were doing this in my house, maybe I wouldn't leave as much slack because it probably wouldn't look as good inside of a receptacle box or something like that. But I'm not doing it inside a house, so I'm just doing it to be doing it. <clears throat> so let's use the plier loop. Uh, oh, we got to strip the wires for it. We'll strip, we'll strip them here. So again, we'll go in the 14 here where it says the 14 because this is 14 gauge wire. I'm going to give it a little twist like that. pull it off of there so you can see it's about as much as I want exposed right quarter inch half inch something like that of course the ground is already exposed so let's pull a little bit off of this one I'll go ahead and do it on both ends uh, it's just easier to go ahead and get it done okay so that looks like it's ready you'll notice I put the receptacle uh, switch uh, this is kind of the cover I just slip it over the back of this wire because after I connect it, I'll push it back up in there and I'll tighten it down and it'll look a lot better. So let's go ahead and get this in. So this one definitely needs some more of the sheathing kind of pulled off. So again, just makes it easier to pull off. Uh, a little bit more of the sheathing because remember the wire itself is still insulated um, the sheathing just is an additional insulation okay we'll strip these wires again we're going to use the 14 hole and we'll twist this way pull straight off wire strippers are pretty amazing tools and they're very very helpful It says use the plier loop to curl the wire into a question mark shape. So I'm going to show you how this works, right where it says loop right there. So I'm going to put it in here, and all you do is just give it a little twist. So you see the little question mark actually makes quite a good one. Okay, got these looped. It says connect black and white wires back of the light fixture. Connect it by unscrewing the screws and sliding the loop behind the screw head. So this is the light fixture, right? This is a simple, it's about as cheap as they come, like a dollar at Home Depot or something, right? But if you just need light somewhere to work. 
Um, <clears throat> you'll notice on the back it has a couple different screws, right? So you have a brass screw and you have a silver screw. So the brass screw is the what where the hot wire goes. So um, the hot wire, of course, is the black wire. Now what you should notice, or maybe you did notice, is that there's no place for ground on here. Very common to not ground things uh, like a little light fixture like this. Now, typically, you would want to try to ground it somewhere, but um, in this case, I'm not, I'm not going to have it connect to a ground, so I'm just going to trim off that ground wire. And now I'm going to hook this up. So I want to get my question mark. Going around the terminal screw, right? The black goes to the brass. And then I'm going to tighten this thing down. And we'll check it. See if it's snug, it's snug. It's good to go. So I'm going to put, up, put on my white wire, my neutral wire. Question mark's a little too tight. Just open it up a little bit. So there we go. It's looped around. Now I've got it connected. We'll put a little bit of electrical tape on here um, just to prevent any kind of um, the metal carrying electricity to touch something, right? So just insulate that up real quick and let's see if it's that. All right, let's keep moving along. So let's feed the wire back through the hole in the back electrical box. I've already done that, right? Remember the switch insulation video you've seen already? So this strip of loop black wire to the other end. So again, the next couple of steps are really referencing um, the light switch. But again, I've already done the light switch and you've already seen that video. So the, I'm gonna skip over a couple of these steps. Um, let's see, connect two white wires, make a pigtail, made a pigtail already. Um, Then take the white and black wires and the bare copper wire remaining and slip the base of the orange plug over them. All right, so this is step number nine. I've already slipped the base over it, right? So it says now unscrew the terminals on the plug and attach the bare copper one to the green wire. So if you look at this, right? I have, just like we had on the light, I got a brass screw, right? That's where my hot wires can go. I have a silver screw, which is where my, um, my neutral wire is going to go, and then I have this little green wire here, which is where the ground's going to go. So, I want to make sure these screws are taken out all the way. These things are kind of, kind of a difficult screw placement, in my opinion. So, all right. I'm going to loop and give me some little question marks. Probably this might need a little bit more strip. Made my question mark look a little small, so I'm gonna strip a little bit more. I think that should be plenty. So I'm gonna loop in here again, and we're gonna whoop. There we go. Got a nice little question mark. I oftentimes forget about this little hole in the pliers for the loop, and it really does make it easier. Make that one a little too tight. make question mark a little bit too tight you won't be able to get the get it over the screw so there we go I left it a little bit better now I'm just going to start connecting them one at a time it doesn't matter which one to start with I'm going to start with the neutral because it's just happened to be the one I grabbed these are kind of hard to snake the um, wire into All 
All right, I got it in there. Hopefully you can see that. Got my neutral wire on. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hot wire on. Remember, black goes to brass. The black wire, the hot wire into the brass. Then I got the last one is my ground wire. This ground wire is always the harder one to get out. Sometimes it might be easier to kind of grab onto the wire with the the end of these little strippers. They got some little grips on them. They use sometimes it makes it easier to hold on to. Mm. Almost had it. Made a little bit larger question mark just because this is such a this is such a booger. I had to go in here with a straight and then curl it after. So the space on this one is really tight. So I went straight with the wire instead of the uh, question mark, and now I have the wire in the correct place. So I'm gonna bend it on the other side. Clearly not ideal. Actually, doesn't even need to be bent on the other side. But uh. There you go. Yep, that works. So now I have everything in, in my uh, plug. So now what I'm doing is just putting the plug in the protective sheathing right so that way the wires that we have kind of quote unquote um, um, uncovered if you will or now they're going to be covered so you can see what I've got here right the sheathing here protects the wires where they're connected all of it is plastic so there's really no need to further insulate it right everything else is plastic it's further it's completely insulated so, um, I'm at the point now where I'm ready to test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, and I want to see if my light switch works. And if it, everything works, then the light should come on. So let's hope, <laughs> let's hope it does. So. All right, I've got it plugged in. Light switch is off. Let's see here. Ta-da! Working circuit. So just as a reminder, look at my switch is working just fine, right? And that's the whole purpose of the switch. So just as a reminder, let's talk about how this is working and how it's a circuit. So electricity is coming in through the plug over here in the black wire, right? The hot is coming into my switch transferring at my switch of course it's cut off at my switch right now right I'm not allowing that to electricity to flow but when I switch it on like that the black the, the electricity continues through the switch through the black wire to the back of the light fixture and then to the light bulb itself right it's producing some light and then the electricity comes back on the neutral wire so the neutral wire is the white it's got to make that little pathway right it's going to make the complete circuit so it comes, the white comes back through the pigtail that's inside the switch, 
from last time and then the white comes back to the uh, receptacle and uh, it is a working circuit so hopefully you enjoyed that um, good little review right of course we already did the switch last time but uh, we just hooked up the light and the power source and we've made that complete circuit so hope you enjoyed it